Hello everyone and welcome to Jack Scraps. Thank you for joining me today. Guess what? I've been tagged. I've been tagged to answer 10 crafty questions. Who tagged me you might wonder? Cindy Matthews. Thank you so much Cindy. <laughs> Cindy is Arrowdale Art Studios on YouTube as well as on Etsy and if you go to her channel you will see her answering her 10 crafty questions. So how did this come about you might ask? Well, I learned from Pink Odd Bird that Artsy Ashley is the one that started this challenge. She challenged herself to answer these 10 questions and then she posed it to everyone. And the purpose was for us to all get to know our fellow YouTube crafters. What a great idea. So let's get started with our first question. What is your name? My name is Jackie. My full name is Jacqueline, spelt with an A instead of an E. Thank you, Mother. It has changed my life forever. <laughs> Another fun fact. Oh, there are two fun facts. One, can you guess my last name? <laughs> two, I was named after Jackie O. I am very proud to be named after Jackie O because she was a fashion icon. And she also emphasized arts, culture, and style. The next question is, how did you come up with your YouTube name? Well, it wasn't very scientific. I wanted to have my name in it, and I thought about all the scraps that I had collected from the years past. So the results were Jack Scraps. I'm thinking about changing my name, so you may see a video about that coming up at a future time. So next is, what is your favorite craft? My favorite craft is making journals. I love creating the binding, the covers that go with it, and putting all the good, fun stuff in between it. But I must say that card making is coming up right behind journal making. What is your favorite place to shop for craft supplies? Well, of course, it's Tuesday morning. I find the best things there at great prices. And then I love all the Hobby Lobby sales, and you've got to include the Dollar Tree because you just can't beat those prices, right? I even listed a couple other places just in case. What are my top favorite crafty YouTube channels? Well, when I started watching, I focused on Dreams Etc., Ephemeris Vintage Garden, Genevieve Designs, My Sister Scrapper, and Paper Phenomena. I have been following them since I started paper crafting. And I mean like really started paper crafting. I have followed them all the way along. The pictures there even show some of the items I made from their products. But I must say there are so many wonderful YouTube channels that I have to mention more. Amity Bloom, Happy Mail Queen, Little Hot Tamale, Lollipalooza, Nick the Booksmith, Pink Oddbird, and more. The latest ones that I'm watching are Treasure Books, Sabrina Ann, Mixed Media Jen, Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, and Mixed Up Craft. There are so many wonderful people. I wish I could mention you all. So what is my favorite color? Black, of course. <laughs> I had phases growing up where I wore nothing but black, and my mother would complain, you got to get out of that black clothing and wear something else. So I went to gray and white. <laughs> but if you really want to know what a real color that I like as my favorite, it would have to be green. What are my favorite craft tools? Vintage Photo Distress Ink, of course. Gotta have that in my arsenal. I love my Fisker's cutting board and my Crocodile as well as my Cricut Maker. I use these for all the time. Gotta have them. So where do I get my crafting love from? Well, I have to say it comes from a couple people. My mom, for one. I asked her recently where I got my crafting ability from, and she didn't think it was her. And when I think about it, I think it is her. When we grew up, she would drag us in, and I say dragging because we were young. We didn't want to go to the store, right? <laughs> we were there for hours in fabric stores, picking out fabric. It, looking at patterns. I mean, I remember doing that like it was almost yesterday. So I think 
you know, the love of creating came from that, watching her create using the sewing machine, which we all do now on our crafts. So much fun. I would also have to say it comes from my dad. He was always building, constructing, creating something, remodeling something. I, every house that we lived in, he remodeled. And he's still remodeling to this day. It's time to take a rest, Dad. <laughs> But his building, and I, you know, I was kind of a tomboy growing up, so I was always following him around. I love to just put my hands in sawdust. I remember going to work with him. He worked at a trust company, and I would just run and play in the sawdust. I love that. All that building, constructing type of work. And so that's what we do now. I remember he he was giving me like uh, paper products, like receipts, I don't know, from the neighbor or something. I remember getting them. And so I've always had a love for paper. And I contributed to both of them, my mom and my dad. But most importantly, I must say, I think this is probably true of all of us, that our crafting love comes from each other. Without our crafting community, you know, being such a free source, you know, it would all be so siloed, but we are free. We are helping each other out. We are sharing ideas and creations. And I just love that about this community. So you are the ones that also inspire me. When did I start crafting? Well, I must say I've been crafting all my life. Can't you see by my wonderful work here? <laughs> I created that when I was little. But I think my love of creating has always been there. I've always journaled. I've always written poetry. And so I think that has all just carried throughout my life. I think there are some pivotal points, though. When my son was turning 16, I wanted to create him a uh, memoir, if you will, of how he and his, his father and I uh, came to know each other how we got together, how he was born. And I created three volumes, and they're all scrapbooking volumes. And it took me a year to do. It was very therapeutic, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> so it was probably cheaper than going to, <laughs> to someone. <laughs> but anyways, that kind of had me get back into paper crafting. And so from there, I did some on and off. And then um, in 2014, probably 2015, I needed a stress reliever. And so I started to art journal. And this is my first spread that I ever did. And um, I still love it to this day. And um, I think each... I think crafting is just therapeutic in general, and no matter what stage of life we're in, we can start it. So throughout art journaling, I was using paper in creating some of those spreads, and I realized that it wasn't the paint and so much, but it was the paper. And so then in late uh, 2015, I would say maybe October, um, I started actually paper crafting and started creating journals and mini albums and all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of how it all came to be and is still going strong. What has been your favorite craft so far? This was really hard to narrow it down because I kind of love all my projects. Some are challenging, yes, but in the end, don't you love all your projects that you create? Even if they're bad, they're still good because they're unique and you created it. But I did come across two that I wanted to highlight. Probably one of my funnest and favorite would be my Alice in Wonderland uh, collapsible box mini album. So when you take the lid off, these sides fold out and there's actually a flip mini album inside that's part of the box. It's not separate. That was really fun to create, and I created it for a little girl, and I think that's probably why I like it so much, because I created it for a child, <laughs> and um, I know from the mother that they absolutely loved it, and so, you know, that just touches your heart, doesn't it? 
So the next thing I would have to say is my honey bee jar. I loved constructing this. There again is that, you know, long time father coming back to me crafting skill of creating. I constructed this cover. I came up with a whole concept and I loved it. It was like one of the one of the best. I would have to say these are probably two of my very top favorites. Um, I love all bee journals that I ever create. Uh, I don't know. I just have a very um, fond memory of them as a child. And so I'm very attached to them. So who am I tagging? I'm tagging our community members. I want to hear about you guys. Um, I love when you all comment and I would love to hear more about your crafting work. So I've named Gina Loves to Craft, Caf Crafty Cake 7, O'Donna, and Crafty Come Lately. I hope that you see this video. I hope that you get inspired to answer the 10 crafty questions and I would love to see your responses. So with that, I want to thank you all for listening to my responses and for just following my channel in general and being part of my community. So thank you all very much and I'll see you next time.